Ladies and gentlemen, who feels like a fool? Who's not been using the GET command instead of the USE command again? Welcome back to Star Trek 25th Anniversary. Let's make sure Spock doesn't die horribly by GETTING some culture. You take the Ouroboros virus culture. And then USING the culture here. Now, Bones, I'd like you to use this machine. Come on. Eureka, this is it, Jim. There's not much, but all I need to do is synthesize some more, and we're in business. Excellent. What is this? There is a single viral culture dish in here, and it contains a sample of the Ouroboros cure. Get it! Get it! You retrieve the Ouroboros cure sample. Now, more importantly... Now... Oh, thank you. That was annoying. Now, at this point... We need to turn off the gas feed. Gas feed is off. And use the cure on this. And then use the synthesizer machine. Nothing happens. Use the synthesizer machine. Nothing happens. Why? There is nothing at the moment. Why can I not use the synthesizer? Spock, can you use the synthesizer? Nothing happens. What have I done wrong? Captain, I see the problem. The gas feeds are turned off. If you'll permit me. Oh. Gas feed. Ah. There is nothing at the moment for me to do there. Aha! The machine does not seem to be able to. What have we got here? This is the door to the synthesis. Uh, in principle, Captain, this oh, device go is away. Next, compared to many pirates. Let's get that. You take the hypo with Ouroboros toxin cure. Yes. Let's look at this, shall we? This is Dr. McCoy's cure for the Ouroboros Kill toxin Tom in McCoy. a hypo. You deserve a medal, but more importantly, we deserve to heal Spock. Spock, you will now not die anymore. There, you're now cured. Thank you, Doctor. Finally, a human response. Raises an eyebrow. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. But there you go. Now, interestingly enough, we are not yet done. There are still Romulans on the bottom floor. Now, there is something that we have got that will solve the Romulan problem. But for now, I'm going to save the game. Save new game. Replace previous. Because we have saved Spock's life. Now, going up here, remember we had a gas vent up here somewhere? You may not have noticed the gas vent, but you can now. This is a screen and filter for the ventilation shaft. Yeah, remember that we have some laughing gas? I don't suppose you'd enjoy the psychological release of a few good belly laughs, Spock. We could open the canister right here, if you like. I would strongly recommend now, against it. this is actually a hint to say this... A loud hissing fills the room. Now, why would you want to do that? Probably. Watch out, sir. Oh. It looks like the Romulans are. Oh. Ah! Load a previously saved game. I got that a bit wrong. But Spock is now cured. I don't suppose you'd enjoy- I would strong- Use... 
A loud hissing fill. Do we have to wait? I think we have to wait. You need something to pry this up. Oh ho ho ho! No 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 no! Done this completely wrong. I need to pry open the ventilation shaft with the wrench first. It's one of those missions where you just don't use your phaser unless you're being really horrible at it. Wrench. Vent. I don't suppose you'd enjoy the cycle. I was right. There we go. The vent is now open. It leads to the lower deck. With the Romulans. Now, we use the laughing gas on there! <laughs> With a hiss, the Romulan laughing gas billows down the vent. You hear the muffled sounds through the vent of hearty Romulan laughter, followed by the dull thud of bodies hitting the deck. now unconscious which means we can now go down here safely here are some Romulans these Romulans are totally out of it more importantly let's um, use the hypo on the Romulans we're not horrible however they have surrendered now because I'm awesome the Romulans stir weakly, then begin to get up. They've all been cured. They're severely dehydrated, but they'll live. We got to them in time. More, if they're severely de dehydrated, let's use... The Romulans drink thirstily and empty the container. Take it easy now. You'll feel better in a few minutes. Good thing we had the water available, Jim. Yeah, we, we made it. We are barbarians, in spite of what some people think. Let's talk to them. Ah, they're in no condition to talk. Let's go through the... let's go... let's, uh, talk to these... Oh, whoops. Completely forgot talking op op um, options. Hey! Dr. Anthony Cheever, Marcus's assistant. He has been bound by the Romulans. Hey, does anyone in Starfleet know how to untie a knot? I do. You just pull on the ropes until they're untied. I don't care who does it, but could somebody get around to doing it on this star date? Oh, fine. There you go. You're fine now. You're free. Thank God it's you, Jim. I'm so glad you came. That's what she said. That was awful. I apologize. Last action. Wake up the Romulan. The Romulan Preax stirs weakly, then begins to get up. He has been cured. Yes, he has. He's severely dehydrated, but he'll live. Well, we don't... We're gonna talk to him. I have called off the Romulan attack on this station, Kirk. I believed your virus was some kind of deliberate attack, but your great honor and compassion have convinced me otherwise. I am cool like that. You also conducted yourself in the most honorable fashion, Centurion Priax. You may return to Romulan space without Federation interference. Mm -hmm. I assure you, the Federation would never undertake such a foul program. It was all an accident, right, Dr. Marcus? Save it for someone who's buying Preax. Leave Federation space Ooh. immediately or we'll scatter your atoms across the quadrant. Nope. You also conducted yourself in the most honorable fashion. You are an honorable adversary, Kirk. Jolon True. You are also a worthy opponent, Preax. Yay! May you live long and prosper. Raises an eyebrow. <laughs> you stole my line, Captain. You'll never cease to amaze me, Jim. Goodbye, Carol. Goodbye, Jim. Oh, God, they do well, know each other. let's go home. They do know each other. Oh, God, that was an awkward pun I made then. And everybody survived. And then the Romulans killed all the humans on board the Starbase while going away. Nope, 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 that's not what's actually going to happen, but it would be funny. Message from Starfleet. How well did we do? On screen, Lieutenant. We have read your report on the problems at Arc 7 and evaluate your performance at 97%. Booyah! You and your crew received three commendation points. Awesome. The top brass at Starfleet are impressed. 
outstanding work, Jay. Thank you. I wonder if I'll see Carol again. Probably. Well, if you don't, you can always drown your sorrow in some Romulan egg. <laughs> That's illegal, Bones. Tell that to the Romulans, Jim. I found a whole case they brought on board, the Ark 7. It'll never replace Scotch, Captain. That it won't, Mr. Scott. <laughs> right, we'll get to see very briefly the uh, beginning debriefing of the fourth mission, and then we'll carry on from here. Next time, of course. Another fine mess. Oh, brilliant. That one's good. Priority message oh, from Starfleet. This is bad. On screen, Lieutenant. We have reports of an undetermined number of Elasi pirate ships in your sector. You are ordered to proceed to the Harlequin star system immediately and investigate. Starfleet out. Oh, great. More Elasi. Save me, then. Replace... Well, folks, when we come back, we will continue. Until then, folks, until then, catch you later.